Our body is made up of approximately 30 trillion cells, which carry out a multitude of functions that keep us alive. There are about 200 different types of cells in the body, all with different shapes, sizes, and functions. Now, a lot of this difference is determined by the things that are inside the cell, which we term cell organelles. Now, in this video, I'm going to discuss briefly the main functions of seven cell organelles, starting with number one, the plasma membrane located on the outside of the cell. The plasma membrane is a phospholipid bilayer which makes it semi-permeable. It functions as a barrier to separate the inside to the outside. It controls the flow of what can go in and out of the cell, but it also helps to identify the cell to our immune system. Number two, the mitochondria. This is the powerhouse of the cell. It's here where the energy for the cell is made in the form of ATP. Number three, the nucleus. This is the library. So this, is, this houses our DNA. Our DNA in each cell could be stretched out to be two meters in length. So it needs to be compacted really well in the nucleus in the form of chromosomes. The DNA can be chunked into genes which help to make proteins. It's here that the DNA is transcribed into RNA. Next door to the nucleus is the rough ER, number four. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is the protein factory. It grabs the RNA that's made from the nucleus and turns it into the proteins. But what makes the proteins? Well, it's number five, the ribosomes, which you can see them studded here on the rough ER. This is actually what makes it look rough. So the ribosomes grab amino acids, stack them together, and this is what makes the proteins. The ribosomes are actually made in a special part of the nucleus called the nucleolus. Once the proteins are made, they are sent to the Golgi, number six. So immature proteins are packaged up by the Golgi apparatus, which is like a packaging center, slaps on a stamp and sends it out to the, outside the cell to somewhere else in the body. And number seven, we're left with a smooth ER. It's called smooth because it doesn't have any ribosomes. The smooth ER helps to synthesize fats and helps to detoxify the cell.